Leukemia sufferers, a bone marrow tra transplant can be a life-saving gift. But for patients from diverse cultural backgrounds, the chances of finding a donor match can be heartbreakingly slim. Each year, more than 2,000 Aussies are diagnosed with leukaemia, requiring urgent bone marrow transplants. For some people who have types of blood conditions like lymphoma or leukaemia, they can't be cured by chemotherapy anymore. So in fact, a transplant from somebody else helps them develop that donor's immune system, which has the ability to fight those cancer cells and cure the patient. Sadly, there's only a 30% chance that those patients will find a match within their own family, meaning the remaining 70% will rely on donations from strangers, much like blood donors. The likelihood of finding a volunteer donor really reduces as people come from uh, smaller and smaller ethnic backgrounds because it's genetically determined. 61% of the current donors on the Australian Bone Marrow Donor Registry are of Northwest European ancestry. 18% of registered donors have indicated that they are of another ancestry, including multiple ancestries. So if you have any other ethnic heritage, you have in some cases a less than 1% chance of finding a match on the current register. I was diagnosed in 2010 with Hodgkin's lymphoma, a type of blood cancer, um, and I was told that I would need to find a stem cell match to have a bone marrow transplant as my last chance for a cure, um, and was told it was going to be difficult to find one. Pamela Busijan has a Lebanese background and was diagnosed with leukaemia in 2012. A bone marrow transplant was her last option, sparking an international search to find a match. They didn't really give me much hope, to be honest. They just said it's going to be difficult and we're going to have to search the worldwide registries to try and find one for you. The things that we're trying to match are those genetic factors that make it possible for somebody to receive and accept a new immune system. If those genetic factors don't match up, then the patient won't be able to have a transplant safely. Eventually, in 2013, Pamela received a transplant from a donated umbilical cord, saving her life. We desperately need people of all different backgrounds, really need to join the bone marrow registry because you can save a life. Well, Tanya Murphy was diagnosed in July with acute myeloid leukaemia and is currently waiting to receive a bone marrow transplant. Tanya, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us tonight. First off, how are you? Um, in... My, the way I'm feeling at the moment, um, really well. My health, considering, um, yeah, I've just been through my fourth round of chemo. Um, I'm travelling pretty strong. Can you just explain your situation for us? Why is it so difficult for you to find a match? Because of my ethnicity, so my father being Croatian and my mother Australian, um, with British Isles heritage. Um, that combination, there's not enough people on the bone marrow registry with that makeup. So, therefore, they haven't been able to, out of the millions of people worldwide that are on the bone marrow registry, um, there is no match for me currently. And Tanya, why do you think it is that, uh, that people aren't registering in the numbers we'd like? Well, um, I think there's not enough awareness, so that's what I'm wanting to do as well, is spread the awareness far and wide, because I have been a, a, a donor of blood myself um, many times, but I've never been offered, would you like to go on the bone marrow registry, which I think should be offered to everyone that donates blood, because it is the same process, you just donate a little bit more blood. Let's be optimistic and say that that donor is out there and watching the show tonight and wants to help you. So what sort of information do you need? What sort of criteria would they have to tick? OK, so you need to be between 18 and 45 in good health. Um, and you just go into any um, blood bank, um, Red Cross, and um, give blood and say, I'd like to sign up to be on the bone marrow registry. They can't, unfortunately, say, I only want to be a bone marrow donor for tenure because it is a really comprehensive test. It takes a long time to get the results. It can be up to six weeks and very expensive. So, but you can go off the registry at any stage um, and, wow, you could save someone's life. How amazing. Uh, well, if you would like to do that, uh, you can get more information about becoming a bone marrow donor. Uh, you may also think that you might be able to help Tanya. Head to links on our page right now. You'll find Tanya's Facebook page, details of the Australian Bone Marrow Donor Register. Tanya, uh, thank you very much for talking to us tonight and I think I speak on behalf of all of us in saying best of luck. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you.